Alrighty, welcome to episode 4 of Small Talk with Alex. I'm currently shirtless because it is really hot outside. And I think today's video, I'm going to be making it on communication. Uh, communication is something that's necessary for everyday life. Um, and I think the better you are at communicating your ideas, your thoughts, your emotions, um, the smoother your life goes. Um, I really do think that if you really think about the things you're about to say and you don't just kind of ramble with your thoughts, so you kind of just take a moment and kind of process things and then speak, um, a lot of your situations or problems in your life can be avoided uh, from communication. Um, I wish, I really do, I wish I could just transfer my thoughts uh, my emotions, uh, my experiences into someone else's head so there's absolutely zero disconnect between my thoughts and what I say. Um, because a lot of the time you're thinking something and you're trying to say it a certain way but people perceive it another way. Um, and that's just life. Um, but I really wish I could be better at communicating my emotions and my thoughts. And I think the only way to do that is getting a better vocabulary, uh, understanding the English language a little bit more, and just like reading and speaking. Uh, I think this is a really good way for me to articulate my thoughts because I'm just talking to the camera. I'm just doing five to six minutes of un uninterrupted talking, if I can even speak. <laughs> and yeah, I think that I'm getting better. I'm getting better at communicating what I'm actually feeling and what I'm actually doing. Um, I think a big part of me uh, is very nervous about something that's happening tomorrow. I won't speak into details, but it's just like, I desperately don't want to keep making the same mistakes. So I'm actively trying to prevent that but sometimes it's hard to see your actual changes in your life um, because changes to who you are, who, your maturity, your emotion, like uh, to your emotions, to you as a person, seeing that kind of change in, inside yourself, it's hard to kind of gauge. It's, it's hard to, to see because at least when you go to the gym, um, I'll do a bunch of like bicep curls or something and then like, three months down the line you can you can see your biceps are like two inches bigger because you trained your biceps and they got bigger but you can't really do that with uh, with self-improvement as like a whole you can't really see that direct change because it's not like an indefinite like there's no number to how mature you are there's no number to just your improvement as an individual it's literally just something that you have to see and I feel like the only way to prove your maturity to someone is by action. Uh, I think that that's the only way that you can possibly do anything like that. Uh, it's literally just action. So you just have to do and do more. And hopefully the person that you're trying to show that to sees that. Uh, I wish that I could just kind of rewind time and do things differently, but I cannot. Uh, that is not when the realm of my capabilities. I, I cannot reverse time like Thanos. Uh, but hopefully I can try to at least express my thoughts. And if anything, just expressing your thoughts and making it absolutely clear uh, if you're trying to get a point across to someone make it absolutely clear you don't have to force that that thing onto that person just make sure you're absolutely clear with what your intentions are um, I think that's something that I'm having big major uh, panic attacks about is just the thought of me not being able to do that gives me just like panic because I'm thinking all these things but 
to actually articulate it and speak it and say it to a person and have them understand that and perceive that and take that in, I don't know if I'm equipped to do that. Uh, I hope I am. I, I hope I can do that. But I guess we won't know until we try. Um, I will always try. That's one thing that no one can take away from me, is you can fucking, life can beat me with a fucking stick over and over and over again, and I can be fucking black and blue on the fucking ground, but I will always try. Oh. I feel like that's a good quality. It's a good quality to have, because I'm not just someone that fucking gives up. I'm a stubborn motherfucker. <laughs> like, when I want something, I will get it. And not sound like in a creepy way or anything, but like, if I want something and I have a goal in mind, like, currently, my goal is to communicate effectively what I have been feeling and the thoughts that I have been having and letting a person know just exactly that. That's my, my goal. I hope each and every one of you has a specific goal that they have in mind, and I hope you actually execute on it, because uh, it's hard. It's, it's hard to execute on your actual, like, goals, but just step by step, step by step. Uh, I hope I'm given the chance to even uh, prove myself, but if you're not given the chance as well, that's on, that's on them, not you. I really want the chance, but you can't you can't beg a person to give you a chance. You know what I mean? Anyways, um, I think that's it for this video. Uh, I've been rambling on for about like six minutes. Um, anyways, peace.